an argument hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament Who's never wrong but always right what? Who never dream of starting a fight gotcha. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck No one <laughs> but Donald Duck yeah. Oh boy And the playing field for this game is in the mind uh Oh Look at the condition of your mind. Antiquated ideas, bungling, false concepts, superstitions, confusion. To think straight, we'll have to clean house. There, that's more like it. A nice, clean sweep. Let's begin with a game that's played on squares. Checkers? No, chess. Chess? A mathematical contest between two minds. It's a game that has been enjoyed for centuries by kings and commoners. In fact, Lewis Carroll, a famous mathematician with a literary mind, used chess as a setting for his classic tale, Through the Looking Glass. Alice found herself face to face with a none too friendly group of chess pieces. Good heavens, what's this? Upon my soul, it appears to be a lost pawn. I'm your pawn, I'm Donald Duck. He says he's Donald Duck. Preposterous. Or it could be an Alice. Alice! No, 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 it's a lost pawn. Lost pawn? Stop that pawn! Ah, Mr. Spirit! Now you can look at this game from a safer perspective. Chess is a game of calculated strategy, and since the board is geometrical, the moves are mathematical. Checkmate, and the game is over. That's very interesting. What's next? Practically all games are played on geometrical areas. The baseball field is a diamond. Oh, boy! And without mathematics, we couldn't even keep score. Oh. Football is played on a rectangle divided by yard lines. <coughs> Basketball is a game of circles, spheres, and rectangles. Even hopscotch has its multiple squares. What's next? Can I do it? No. A mathematical game played on a field of two perfect squares, using three perfect spheres, and a lot of diamonds. In other words, billiards. Oh, boy! Dance for me! You know the game, don't you, Donald? Of course! The two balls to the other two balls, like this! Now let's see how an expert at three cushion billiards uses his head. Three cushion? Yes. The cue ball not only has to hit both the other balls, but it must contact at least three cushions before it hits the final ball. Oh, this game takes precise calculation. He figures out each shot in his head. He could play it like this, but it calls for quite a bit of luck. There is a better choice. For this, he uses the diamond markings on the rail as a mathematical guide. 
First, he figures the natural angle for hitting the object balls. And then he finds that his cue ball must bounce off the number three diamond. Next, he gets ready for the shot, and he needs a number for his cue position. This calls for a different set of numbers. Very confusing, isn't it? Not when you get the hang of it. You see, the cue position is four. Now a simple subtraction. Three from four is one. So if he shoots for the first diamond, he should make it. It's called playing the diamond system. Natural angle, two. Cue position, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Two from three and a half is one and a half. So shoot halfway between the first and second diamonds. No, no, Donald. There's no guesswork to mathematics. It's quite simple. Natural angle for the hit. Two. Cue position. Three and a half. How much is three and a half minus two? Uh, one and a half. Tough for yourself, Donald. How do you get that for mathematics, Mr. Spirit? In the words of Galileo, mathematics is the alphabet with which God has written the universe. Mathematics. 